Don't be. What's your relationship with Watt to be fact? I seen that you. Oh know. uh, no, I, I f his music. I f his music. I told him he was the hottest um, GD in the world. <laughs> so you can listen to GD music at this point in your life. I listen to um, that Watt to be fact. Yeah. He ain't never shoot dice with him. I know he no, he hell, hell no, I ain't never shoot dice with him. So you you listen to any other GD rappers or is that is that still kind of tough for you? No, it ain't it ain't tough. It depends on who it is. I ain't I don't hold no girls against no GDs like that. Does a lot of that in terms of the game does it seem kind of old to you at this point? Like yeah, doesn't mean it as really much? Yeah, it really is. It really is. Hell yeah. I don't be really going off that. I don't go off that. Like hell no. What do you think when you saw uh, uh, what's his name King Yellow trying to make peace with Six Hundred Breezy? You think that that's gonna happen? Most he said he he, he said he ain't doing shit as goofy yeah. <laughs> yeah, what'd you think of that? That's on them. That's how he you heard what he said to the man. He put it on the internet. I guess he don't want to fuck with him. What if King Yellow wanted to make peace with Lil Reese? I ain't never had beef with him or he ain't never been my op, so he can't make no peace with me. Like Well, that's kinda how Breezy responded too. He said, like, my people aren't really yeah. into the, into it with your people, so this is irrelevant to me. Yeah, that, it'll be clout chasing though, you know? Mm. It'll be clout chasing if I'm trying to do something. Like, you never seen yellow, ran in yellow type shit? No, hell no. So what was it like? I got to ask this. So it's the famous viral clip of the JoJo shit. Mm -hmm. And JoJo and them passed by. Where were you at? You was outside your crib? Like, what's yeah, going I, on in that no, video? No, I was talking to this um this nigga from the low end named Polaroski. Named Paul. I was talking to him, man. I was chopping it up outside the car and shit. It's like a red Mustang or a... No, he had like a red... um Camaro? The, Camaro, yeah, he had a red Camaro at the time. Me and Paul chopping it up. I'm chopping up with them, and they come pull up. Shit, and that's how it was. Yeah. Y'all never see, you ever seen them before? Or like, no, nah, like, like no, nah, that was like my first time seeing yeah. them type shit. Like, I never even bumped into them. So that was just all like internet shit. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. You know, niggas be chasing clout, bro. And these niggas in Chicago, that's what they do. If you got fame, that's what they gonna do. Like I bumped to a lot of niggas, and they was chasing clout. Always, that's what they be doing. Shit. So JoJo was like never really an op to you, just more so the music or whatever? I ain't even know him. Yeah. I ain't even know the man. I want my op. I seen recently you said that you want to box Swag De Niro, though. That's his brother. So yeah, because like. he, he's soft. <laughs> the man is soft. He's soft as hell. So you really do he a was boxing right there match? Too, huh? You really do a boxing match? I do it with him, but he got to he gotta put some money up. Well, normally you would both get paid. Huh? Yeah, for sure. Wait. Yeah, yeah. I, it depends on how much money it is, though. You said swag was like that? What you mean? You say, no. no, you said he was right here. I said he was right there, though, when, when, when his brother rolled up, doing all that internet shit with their phones and shit. He was in a car, too. So that's why I always be tweaking with him and shit. Oh, yeah. Does that feel kind of crazy that, like, so many different cities all over America, like, copy Chicago in terms of the, the street stuff? And, and you guys have just popularized so many things that just you became say, completely what, normal? Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> uh, all right, just like Chicago in general, it feels like you guys are probably like the most influential generation in terms of street shit. This is no, like, it don't feel it don't feel crazy. It's it a good thing. Like that. It's a good thing. I really think it's a good thing though. It's an influence. I feel like it's a good influence. That's how I look at it though. Like I look at that shit like it's a good influence. I don't want to hang on, knock them, and, or say nothing down, or try to say nigga y'all copied us and. No, keep it going. Shit, let's keep this shit going. So you fuck with like other drill scenes, like what they doing in New York and yeah, UK I fuck, and shit. Yeah, I fuck with it. Depends on who it is. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta like like it and like it gotta be catchy and shit. Anybody in particular that you can name off the top of your head that you like? Yeah, I'll stamp this. I fuck with the nigga from um London. What what the fuck? I think he's from the UK or something. Fredo, nigga mm. named Fredo. Right. I fuck with his shit. Yeah, I fuck with his shit. I don't really be paying too much, too much attention. A lot of people will listen to him, but I fuck with the nigga Fredo shit. From UK, I think he from way from UK or London. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. He from out there somewhere, somewhere though. I fuck with his shit. But has any of the stuff from New York stood out to you over the years? Because I feel yeah, like they're like, so yeah, influenced like by y'all. Smoke, pop smoking on them, right? Rowdy rap. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and Rowdy, but pop Deep, smoking on them niggas. Bucks. Yeah, pop smoking on them niggas. Yeah, I fuck with they shit. I fuck with how they was coming. Yeah, Tay, I gotta ask you this since you're here. So the reason they say you had beef in New York and you pulled up to New York and shit, what was all that about, type shit? Man, I didn't even know nothing about beef. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know what was going on. We went out there on some, you know what I'm saying, networking, just chilling. You were just already out there? Yeah, yeah, I ain't know nothing about that. But what I'm I'm not we we just not gonna let nobody just 
play with Vaughn, though. Like, we ain't just going to be like, oh, yeah, we ain't going to let that happen, though. But no, I ain't know nothing about that. But what did you guys actually do to contact people to have a conversation about that disrespect? I didn't know nothing about I ain't know nothing about the conversation, nothing. All that was going on, they showed me in the phone. Like, you see this? I'm what the fuck? I didn't, I didn't contact. I don't know. So all the meme pages are like rap news pages that were basically posting saying Tay Savage pulls up to New York after King Von yeah, gets disrespected. Yeah, that was, was just cap. cap. Yeah, um, we was already just up blowing there. it up. It was just a coincidence. We went to New York and then that was. I didn't even know like, like I didn't even know that was going on. I didn't know that the I ain't know nothing about that shit. Right, definitely. Hey, I gotta ask you this because we just had THF Bezu on here and I, I was had Zoo and when? earlier today. Today. Yeah, he oh, out yeah. yeah, he said he fucks with you. We weren't we weren't nah. sure. I'm like, should they cross oh, yeah, paths? Yeah, fuck, Is that yeah, all good? I fuck with I fuck with I've been fucking with Zoo since I was a shorty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met I met Zoo through Brubber. Yeah, shit, that's how it is. Right. Speaking of Brubber, we talked about <laughs> Brubber today. So they, you know, Dirt recently had a song where he kind of said like he don't fuck with Brubber no more because Brubber snitched or some shit. Like, so what was your relationship like with Brubber? Man, I don't even want to talk about that, man. We know what's going on though, you know. I don't be speaking on a lot of shit because it's like. That ain't what I do. I don't speak on shit that's that's true and shit like that. I don't be speaking but did on you hear shit. Dirt and say yeah, it in the song? That. I heard that. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard that for sure. Yeah, I heard that for sure. I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc. Plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.